What's going on YouTube? Noose23 coming at you. Uh, got something really, really, really special right here. Um, got my stamp tax back for my SBR, and uh, here she is right here. This is my complete Bravo Company 11 and a half inch upper. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you probably already know um, this is the cat rifle, and uh, just had the lower grade or whatnot, and just changed the upper to it. And, uh, but now it's, it's legal, so. I got the Manpool CTR stock mil spec on there. Got the uh, Midwest Industries uh, ambidextrous sling attachment. I didn't want to go with the ASAP plate by Magpul because I didn't feel like breaking the castle. Oh shoot, was a castle nut? Yeah, the castle nut on the back end of the, the rifle. I didn't feel like breaking that. I just want to keep it state. Uh, Got the Myag grip on there by Magpul. Got a Troy Industries rear and front flip up sights. Got the LaRue mount for the Aimpoint Micro T1 and the Micro T1 is right here. Got the battery, uh, the battery assist by Magpul. Got the RSA for Magpul on there too. And this rail right here is a Centurion Arms 10 inch rail. Really, really, really lightweight and a lot cheaper. Well, probably about $60, $50 cheaper than the DAG on uh, Day and Defense. But it's really lightweight and really durable. Uh, I think it only weighs about 10 ounces. Paid uh, 273 all together shipping and handling from uh, Rainier Arms. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, it's really, really lightweight. Uh, got the Magpul RVG on there. Got uh, some little Magpul rail covers on there to protect my hands from when I'm shooting from a recoil got the surefire x300 weapon light on there and the surefire mb556k muzzle brake I'm planning on going to the AAC breakout which is similar to this right here and uh, plan on getting a suppressor to go on this bad boy so I mean this thing is light as hell even with a fully loaded clip well, one pound, you know, a magazine is one pound, so load it. I mean, it's still pretty light, and I mean, the rail makes it lightweight too. And I, I just can't wait to get out and test it out. Had a low-profile gas block on here because this is this was originally had a, a A2 uh, front sight post on it. So, and uh, I had it um, taken off by a good friend of mine down in uh, Charlotte. He uh, did did the work for me, and. Uh, Help me get the um, the rail on here too. So, but I mean, this thing is really, really, really lightweight. I'm liking the way it's turning out to look. So, plan on, like I said, plan on getting a suppressor for it, and probably maybe even a uh, in um, what you call it, a D ball I squared. Plan on getting one of those. I think just uh, not at this time. It's not really a necessity right now. I got some other things going on right now. So, but uh. Hopefully, I'll be getting some video up of me uh, shooting this bad boy. Uh, plan on testing it out tomorrow after work uh, to see how that gas block is fitting on there and see if I get any short strokes going on. If I do, I'll probably take it to a gunsmith and have him uh, turn that gas, um, excuse me, the gas block over a little bit to the left. I think it is. So, but here she is right here. 11 inch, 11, 11 and a half inch SBR. Got any questions? Just hit me up on here and uh, I'll be getting some videos up soon. Peace.